Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chris and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to set up a captive portal on your Wi-Fi Pineapple. For those of you who don't know what a captive portal is, let me explain. When someone connects to your Pineapple or any access point that has a captive portal present, the captive portal is designed to automatically redirect them to a special web page when they open their web browser. And what happens is they cannot browse the web or do anything on the internet until they've performed whatever action the portal requires. And for this tutorial, we're going to require that our Pineapple clients read our Terms of Use and click an Accept button. Once they've clicked the Accept button, they'll be authenticated and they'll be able to browse the web and use the internet. Now before we get started, let me show you what our captive portal is going to look like when we're all finished. So here's the actual web page that our Pineapple clients are going to be redirected to when they open their web browser. And when they scroll over the Accept button, a yellow check mark is going to appear as you can see there. Now I personally created this page in Photoshop and I've included my Photoshop project files in the package that we'll be downloading shortly so you guys are free to customize the page and tailor it for your needs later on. Alright so now that you've seen what the end result is going to look like, let's get started. First thing you need to do is power on your Wi-Fi Pineapple and then connect to your Pineapple either via Wi-Fi or the Ethernet cable, whatever you prefer. And once you've connected to your Pineapple, we need to open up a web browser. And in the URL bar, we're going to navigate to http colon forward slash forward slash 172.16.42.1 colon 1471. And then go ahead and log into your pineapple. And now what we're going to do is we're going to install the evil portal infusion. So in order to do this, you're going to need an internet connection for your pineapple. So if your pineapple is not connected to the internet, go ahead and do that now. And then let's navigate into the pineapple bar. And let's select the available infusions tab. And wait a minute while that loads. And once it's finished loading, go ahead and scroll down until you find the evil portal infusion. And then go ahead and click install. And when you're prompted to select where you want to install the infusion, go ahead and click install to internal storage. And your web browser should automatically refresh. If it doesn't refresh on its own, you can go ahead and manually refresh it. And you can see we now have a small tile for evil portal. And inside of the tile, we need to click install dependencies. And you can go ahead and just close this prompt and what it's telling you is that the small tile is going to automatically refresh once the dependencies have been installed. Now if that small tile doesn't refresh after about two minutes, you can go ahead and refresh your web browser and it should be installed. And you can see there that my small tile has automatically refreshed and we now have two options for stop no dog splash and start no dog splash. Now we need to make some adjustments to evil portal so let's go ahead and open it up. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the Configure UHTTP Daemon tab. And down on about the sixth line, you're going to see where it says list listen underscore HTTP 0.0.0.0 colon 80. We want to replace that 80 with an 8080, so 8080. And once you've done that, go ahead and click Save Changes. And once that file is saved, we're going to select the Configure No Dog Splash tab. And what we need to do here is we're going to add two firewall rules. So we're going to scroll down about one third of the way and you'll just need to look at the video closely so you make sure you're in the correct place. And it's right here. So just look at the comment mark where it says for administration from the gateway interface. If not, comment these out. Directly below where it says firewall rule allow TCP port 443, go ahead and move down a line and we're going to type firewall with an uppercase F, rule with an uppercase R, space allow, space TCP, space port, space 1471, and then move down a line and we're going to type firewall with an uppercase F, rule with an uppercase R, space allow, space TCP space port space 8080 and we're done adding the firewall rules and what this does is it allows us to bypass the captive portal so we can access our pineapple even when the portal is enabled. So once you've entered those firewall rules go ahead and click save changes and now we need to restart the UHTTP daemon so those changes will take effect so at the top here click restart UHTTP daemon 
And while that's restarting, what we're going to do now is we're going to download the package that contains the custom portal images and the code that I've put together for you guys. So let's open up a new tab in our web browser. And we're going to navigate to www.sunstudiophoto.com forward slash pineapple and then press enter. And we're going to click the portal.zip download link. And when you're prompted, make sure you select Save File, and then go ahead and click OK. And then select your desktop as your save location, and click Save. And I'll wait a moment while that download finishes. All right, you can see there that the download is completed, so I'm going to go ahead and close that tab out. But I want to keep the Pineapple web interface open, so I'm going to minimize my web browser for now. And you can see the portal.zip file there on my desktop. You should have the same file. And now what we need to do is we need to unzip the contents of the portal.zip file. So let's open up a terminal. And in the terminal, we're going to type CD space desktop with an uppercase D and then press enter. And then we're going to type unzip space portal.zip and then press enter. And you should see a folder on your desktop titled portal now. And now what we're going to do is we're going to send our custom portal images over to our pineapple. So let's open up the portal folder. And you can see there that there are three .ping files. Those are the image files that we're going to be transferring over. So back in the terminal, just go ahead and type CD and then press enter. And then I'm going to clear my terminal out. So type clear, press enter. And now we have a nice fresh terminal to work with. And we're going to be using the SCP command to transfer these files over. So type SCP space and then go ahead and drag background.ping over into the terminal. Let it go. And that's going to paste the location of that file so we don't have to manually enter it. And then space root at 172.16.42.1 colon forward slash Etsy forward slash no dog splash forward slash ht docs forward slash images forward slash and then press enter and then you're going to need to enter your pineapple's password and it's transferring the file over to the pineapple and as soon as it's complete we'll get the prompt there it is you can see that we finished transferring that file now we're going to do the same thing for the button one dot ping file and the button two dot ping file and an easy way to do this is to press your up arrow key and that will make the last command you entered reappear. And then we'll simply move back and we'll replace background with button one. And then press enter and enter your pineapple's password. And that file has been successfully transferred. Now press the up arrow key again, scroll back to button one and change the one to two because that's the name of the other file we want to transfer and press enter enter your pineapple's password and that's been successfully transferred as well so now we're done transferring files over to the pineapple we can go ahead and close out the terminal and now we need to open up the splash.html file and I'm gonna right click the file and I'm gonna choose to open it with kwrite and all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select all of the text and then I'm gonna copy it and then we can go ahead and close that file out and let's move back into our web browser. So back in the evil portal window, we need to select the edit splash tab. And we're gonna select all of that text there and we're gonna delete it. Now we're gonna paste that text that we just copied from the splash HTML file into this field. So go ahead and paste it in there. And this is what it should look like. Go ahead and click save changes. And now we're ready to start our captive portal. So we're going to click start no dog splash. And in the prompt, just go ahead and select start once. And the status bar shows that it's running. You can go ahead and close out this prompt. And now you can either move over to a different computer, connect to the pineapple and open your web browser, or you can do it from right here. I'm just going to do it from right here to make it simple. So I'm going to open a new tab and I'm just going to navigate to any web page. It doesn't matter. It's going to go to yahoo.com and there is our portal page. So there's the terms, there's the accept button and when the user scrolls over accept, there's the yellow check mark and let me show you what will happen when the user clicks the accept button. 
it automatically directs them to Yahoo or whatever web page they were initially trying to access. And once they've clicked accept, they'll be able to use the internet until you have killed their session by restarting No Dog Splash. If you kill No Dog Splash and restart it, and they go to navigate the web, they'll be brought back to the portal page and they'll have to accept again. So to stop No Dog Splash, you'll simply click Stop No Dog Splash. And then in the prompt, go ahead and click Stop No Dog Splash again. And you can see there in the status bar, No Dog Splash has stopped. Go ahead and close that prompt out. And go ahead and close out this window. So that's it guys, that's how you set up a captive portal on your Wi-Fi Pineapple. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Mm -hmm.